We are here at the 5th Pan Commonwealth Forum on Open Learning with Mr. Ken Sylvester of the Caribbean Knowledge Learning Network, CKLN. Good afternoon, Mr. Sylvester. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, uh, the Caribbean Knowledge Learning Network was established by the CARICOM Heads of Government in 2004 to enhance the global competitiveness of Caribbean countries. How do you use ODL to achieve this? One of the major problems we've had in the region is that we've had limited access of, to tertiary education, higher education for our citizens. Um, you may not know what the numbers are, but the, the average of, of, of the number of, 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 of citizens having access to tertiary education in Latin America, for example, which is our neighbors, that was in, in 2005, that was, 20, that was 24%. Whereas at that time, the average in the Caribbean was 9%. And the world's average is, is, is just below um, 24%. It's about 23%. So the, the Caribbean, we were in a really very bad shape. And we, we just had to and must continue to strive, not just to get the numbers up to 23%, but if we are to compete, if our economies are to survive, we have to reach a much larger percentage of our, of our population. And, and the, the problems we've had is we, we are very small islands. We are 17 small islands separated by water of thousands of miles. None of these islands enjoy economies of scale in anything that we actually do, let alone education. So we had to find a way and using technology and particularly um, distance um, technology uh, um, is clearly the way forward. And that was the basis of actually doing it. Right, okay. We've heard of uh, the digital divide. Yes. Uh, could you tell me what is the digital whole? The digital whole, um, we coined the phrase in 2005 because as we embarked on the CKLN program, we realized that there was lack of, of connectivity between the region and, and other parts of the world. So for example, researchers in, in, in the Caribbean, they were unable to get on the internet too, which is, as you know, it's a research network. They were unable to get onto um, Cla to, to, to CLARA, which is the South American, Latin American research network. And when we did the investigation, we found that Latin America was connected to Europe, Europe was connected to the Americas, and in fact, many of the, the, the countries in Asia, they all had knowledge and research networks, except the Caribbean. And in particular, Red Clara, which is a Latin American network, connected all the Latin American countries, including Venezuela, and Cuba, and yeah, so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the Caribbean was left out, mm -hmm. and that, if you like, yeah. Is, 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 is what defines the digital whole. Interesting, interesting. The Commonwealth is a big organization. It's got 53 members. And um, you speak yourself of economies of scale with small islands. Do you think there's any chance that you could extend this to other countries of the Commonwealth, your plans to other countries of the Commonwealth, for example, the Pacific Islands? Well, realistically, uh, it, it seems to me that, that, that the practical way of doing it is to have geographical areas where member states or, or countries connect. Because the network we are actually putting down, we, we, are, we are putting down, a, well, we're not actually laying the fiber. Fiber operators have landed fibers on most of the Caribbean I islands. We are using those fibers to create a broadband fiber optic network. So. Physically, if we were to engage with countries far away, we would probably engage with them through satellite. Right. But there are limitations right. as to what one can have. Yeah. But the actual infrastructure that we are using in the region is a broadband, high-capacity, high-quality fiber optic net network. Because, we, because what we want to do, we want to do things like video conferencing. Right. We want to do things like, like broadcast. We want... Uh, a lecturer in Jamaica giving a lecture on theoretical physics, for example, in Jamaica, we want students in Grenada, in Trinidad, which, which these, these, these countries are over a thousand miles away, 
we want them to be taking those courses as if they were in Jamaica. Right. You understand? Yeah. So there is a limitation in terms of whether we can ex extend it. We would like to collaborate, though, mm -hmm. with other regions in the world, mm -hmm. especially as it relates to content. Mm. Um, we would like to share the courses. So, 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 for example, one of the reasons why coming to this conference is very important, and I have a team of, of five people right. here, we are seeking to collaborate and work with, uh, with all groups of persons and institutions in the Commonwealth to collaborate in the development and the sharing of content to be used across this mm -hmm. network. Mm -hmm. So, that, so that's, that's the way um, you know, we expect to work with them. All right, okay. Well, as you may well know, uh, the Commonwealth Education Ministers are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Commonwealth Education Ministers' meetings. Um, and the Commonwealth itself is celebrating 60 years uh, in the body day in Co Commonwealth is celebrating 60 years uh, since uh, the establishment of uh, the Commonwealth as a whole. So what do you think is the future as the Commonwealth enter enters into its uh, 61st year? The future for the Commonwealth as a, as a group of people? Yes. As a group of people and within an education context. Uh, well, one of the wonderful things about technology is mm -hmm. that it has broken down space and time. True. It has brought the world closer together. Yeah. One of the wonderful, one, another wonderful thing about it it, it has created a, 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 an environment where social relationships is, are, are no longer based on, on, on where you are. You can be anywhere and develop relationships as though you are in the same place. So I think the Commonwealth is well placed by leveraging technology to share culture, to share knowledge, to share experiences, to work together much more collaboratively. And I think it's a wonderful um, experience. We have common heritage based on our, our history. We have common sort of governance structure. We have common learning methodologies. And I think what the technology has done and will continue to actually do is to facilitate and enable a sort of a collaborative, integrative ap approach amongst Commonwealth countries, no matter how far they are. Yeah, which yeah. is which is one of the powers, if yeah. you will, yes. of the technology. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. So uh, the I hear that uh, the West Indies, the University of West Indies, it's a big organization. It's in many countries in off the off off the Caribbean. It's in Jamaica, Barbados, and, and Trinidad. Do you think it helped you establish establish a network, being like there an existing organization as it is? Well, it's interesting you mentioned the University of the West Indies. I mean, the University of the West Indies is currently um, um, celebrating its, its 60th year. So it's been in existence for a long time. But what is interesting is that they've re really only had three campuses, one in Jamaica, in, in, in Barbados, and Trinidad. And up until now, the other, the, the, the other countries, and there are, we are 17, the means of communication was telephone. So the University of the West Indies was unable to reach these member states. And in fact, the reason for the network and the reason why CaribNet is so important, it will now allow the University of the West Indies to extend its, its reach beyond those three campuses to all 17 CARICOM countries, including countries like Haiti, um, Suriname, Guyana, um, and of, of course, we, 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 we are working very closely with UWI, and especially with regards to content, because UWI has a very long history of developing content. And it's one thing building infrastructure and building network and using technology, but that is as good as the content that one has to, 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 to be used over that network. And UWI, of course, will, will, will bring that to the table and will be will be reached um, at you know all of the countries within the, the Caribbean. So there's a powerful you know synergy sure. nexus relationship between what we are doing and UWI. Thank you, Mr. Ken Sylvester of the CKLN. Here with me at the Pan Commonwealth Forum of Open and Learning. Thank you, Mr. Sylvester. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Excellent. Thanks. Appreciate that greatly. Yeah. <laughs>